Hey, what's happened everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. This channel is all about helping you become a better designer online via code. And there's nothing better to help you design than using Bootstrap. Bootstrap, you can find at getbootstrap.com, provides a fantastic framework for a web design. But you gotta know how to actually use it. So in this tutorial, in this series of videos, I'm gonna explain how you install and set up Bootstrap and go in and set up a basic framework within Bootstrap. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. Once again, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this channel is all about making you a better web designer through code. So I'm starting from the bare bones in terms of Get Bootstrap. How bare bones? As in, I have nothing up my sleeve, nothing on this page. I'm gonna start from the very beginning and depending on how you are in your coding, you might wanna start the same way. What I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna go into a code editing software. Now I am using Visual Studio Code. It's one of the best tools out there called Visual Studio Code and it's made by Microsoft. So if you are curious on using a code editing tool, which I do recommend using, I am using Visual Studio Code for this example. It's up to you which one you wanna use, but I'm sticking with this one right here. I'm gonna open up a new file, and I'm gonna say save. And I'm not in a folder of where I should have been. Cassie Demo Projects, 59. And the first page is always index, so I'll say index.html. If you already have a website set to go, awesome. But I wanna break down the components in which Bootstrap requires it for it to work. And in HTML, I have to set up my doc type that declares that is an HTML5 document. It is exclamation point doc type HTML. The great part about Visual Studio Code is that it already typed it in for me. The after part is I have to do is I have to say less than sign HTML and declare a language. And we'll say en and you open and close the HTML. This is where all the goodness is gonna lie. I then have to put in something inside the head and the body. So I'm gonna type head and body. We'll touch the body second, but I'm gonna focus on the head part. What I have to do is I have to say meta, and it should have been indented. There it goes. I always wanna make sure I indent my code whenever possible. So I'm gonna say meta, char set for character set, and I will say UTF eight in here and close it up. The meta does not need a closing tag. So you don't have to say slash, oops, meta. Don't worry about that part. The next thing I wanna do is I have to set a viewport and I'll explain the viewport in a second. So I have to type meta name equals viewport. And inside of here, I have to say that the content equals with, oops, not the quote, which equals the device width, comma, initial scale equals one, comma, shrink to fit equals, I keep hitting those extra quotes, no and close it up. So what does this meta viewport does? This is where all the magic happens. Because Bootstrap is a responsive design framework, we have to say that this is gonna then change in scale based upon the width of the device width. So essentially when we're using an iPhone or a tablet, we're gonna make the device width hit to be the full width. This just sits at the top of your page, and that's all it does. After that, we have to include the Bootstrap CSS. You're probably noticing by now I haven't gone back to the Bootstrap website. Well, that's gonna change. So I have to go back to getbootstrap.com and on the homepage, I'm gonna click Get Started. What we basically did was, we then did the top part and then in the CSS, I wanna copy and paste the style sheet into the head section, which we created before all our style sheets to load our CSS. So I'm gonna copy this by clicking copy, and I'm gonna put it right after the viewport and drop it in. 
And if we save it, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't done anything yet to our body. So cool, we did that pretty good. And if you wanna make a comment, I'm always in fans of commenting areas. The shortcut key in a lot of HTML text editors is command slash. That'll put the appropriate comment. And a comment just basically says, browser, don't read this. So I will say include this CSS in the head of any page. So what I'm basically doing is I'm letting Bootstrap deploy my CSS in a minified way, which basically means it's gonna compress all the information down as small as possible, and I'm gonna save it. So inside the head is where all the magic's gonna happen. The next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna write something simple in the body, just so you can put something in here. I'm gonna say H1, hello world, and let's see if this works. So I'm gonna come back to my index file. I'm gonna open with Chrome. There it goes. Hello world. Notice how that this font is sans serif. That's to see to see if this thing works. And you can take a look by, if I take out this right here, just for example, I save it, it's gonna go back to the default of putting a margin making it serif, where if you notice the font changed, and it made it a little smaller. By writing h1 hello world and adding the style sheet, refreshing the page, we can see that Bootstrap is already working. There's so many components to Bootstrap, but my first step is, does it work? And the answer is yes. The next thing I also wanna put in, I always jump to this part and this part first, because then I know it's working. I'm gonna come back up to the head and just include a title. And we'll just say, hello world. Let's save it. And all the title does is it changes at the very top to say, hello world. Notice there is no exclamation point inside the title, but there is down here. That's because all the magic happens inside the body and the title is more behind the scenes in the head section. So we got the first part working. We added the style sheet into our HTML. What I next wanna do is I wanna come in and go back and add the JavaScript. So the two pieces that are mission critical are the CSS and the JavaScript. So it says place the following script near the end of your pages right before the closing body tag. So I'm gonna copy this and where I'm gonna put it is right at the very bottom, right before the body tag. And my indentation is not looking very good. The reason for indentation is it's easy to read when you go in and out. So if I go into the script, I go out to the body and out the HTML. If it's all jumbled together, when you come back and look at it, it can be hard to read. So if I save this, nothing's really gonna change, but we know it's gonna work because it's in the right positioning below the body tag, but before the close of the body tag. In the past in Bootstrap, you used to have to download the files and link to them, but all that's required now is to copy and paste the linkage of the style sheet at the very top and the bottom. And you're on your way to using Get Bootstrap.